My name is Rhiannon Giddens, and I am the librettist and co-composer for the opera Omar. It is a journey through Omar Ibn Said's life and internal struggle. His story is really, really necessary um, addition to broadening the idea of what an American story is. Uh, he was a Senegalese Quranic scholar who was stolen from his homeland and sold into slavery and he ended up in Charleston first and then he ran away from the man who bought him there and ended up in Fayetteville, North Carolina um, where he, he ended up living out the rest of his days as an enslaved man but he wrote his autobiography in Arabic. You know, it's the only document of that kind we have in the United States. And it's really important, not only because it's a story from an enslaved person's own pen and point of view, even though we know that there's a lot of layers over that, because as he knows, people are, you know, he's, he is in somebody else's power while he's writing that, so we always have to consider that. But also that he was Muslim and that that's a whole chapter of, you know, um, American history that is not really talked about, the one fourth to one third of enslaved people who were Muslim who were brought to the United States. And of course, with the backdrop of the Middle Passage and the auction block and all of these things, but this is the reality for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people is that they had to live their lives under like the most unbelievable duress, you know? So the opera is attempting to like, to have, you know, not really pull the punches of what, his, what he was going through. But when you get to the end, what you remember is not the middle passage, is not the bad master, is his triumph in figuring out how to maintain connected to his God. There's a million different ways to tell Omar Sarai, and I hope that happens. I hope this is not the last, <laughs> you know, that we hear of Omar ibn Said. I mean, he deserves as many treatments as a lot of other, you know, American stories. We, we, we don't need, you know, we, there's a lot of people we don't need more stories about. We could, we could do with a few more Omar stories. You know, and I, and I chose a, a way through it that made sense to me as an American North Carolinian banjo player of mixed race, you know. Um, and, I, and I'm very, very clear about that. But in, in my own way, I really tried to make his words speak as much as possible. There's a triumph in Omar, and that's the important piece of digging into this history, particularly for people of the African diaspora, African Americans, people who are descended from these stories. And I want people to feel that, to feel, I want them to walk out going, we're all of us carrying pain. We're all of us carrying trauma. And I understand the trauma that I'm carrying a little bit better because I've seen how this character overcame his. Thank you.